Hi, I'm Drew Bryant with Cement Tech, and today we're going to be going over how to do your admix calibration on a C60. So first off, you're going to want to make sure that you have admix in your tanks and they're diluted to the proper ratio. And you want to make sure that your three-way valve is pointing in the right direction so you're getting admix to your pump. Then you want to turn, on, turn the key on and turn on your control screen. You go to calibrations, and then depending on which admix you're calibrating, we're going to calibrate calibrate admix one. We're going to create a new file or you can recalibrate an existing file. And for this file we'll put test. Okay, we want to make sure that our units and measures are in ounces and that we're calibrating per minute. And then our trial rate we want to use 75% for the pump speed and then we'll start calibrating. You know, want to make sure that you have a container that at least goes up to 30 ounces and then you'll just uh, so for admix one it's the first nozzle all the way to the right admix two is all the way to the left and then admix three if you have it on your machine is in the middle and we're going to run all five counts and what we're looking for is for low flow we want to be around 20 ounces for high flow we want to be up around 30 ounces and we're just trying to hit consistently and see where our counts land so first off, before we start doing that, we'll make sure that the line is primed, and we'll run any air out, and then we'll begin to do our trials. This process can be made easier if you have a small piece of hose to be able to attach to the nipples on the bottom of the admixes. put in our ounces that we had on our trials and then we'll accept it and then we'll continue to do the, each trial after that. So after performing all five trials we're just looking to make sure that we have consistent amounts and then consistent counts. We're looking to be, that's all we're looking for. If we see anything that looks very, that varies widely from the rest, we're going to unaccept that and then we'll do another trial to make sure there wasn't air in the line or any, anything like that. And once we're done with that, so then we'll save this calibration. And then you would just perform the same, same procedure with any other admixes you were doing. I'm Drew Bryant with Cementex.